Hey, what's up, friends? And I want to say friends because... Cortana. Hey, what's up, friends? It's Dilio 624 I wanted to say friends because I want to be gender neutral. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm making this video to show a 2019 room tour and what's on my phone closer to the end. It's not going to be way too long, but yeah, nice room tour. Also, I hope you like the focus of my face because I'm using a different lens. All right, so let's start with this side of my room, the corner where you enter. I have a calendar on my wall, so I just write down random things that's going on. And I'm not up to date because it's still on my, my hat. Mirror I use just to double check like everything's fine before I go to school. My chair for when I have friends coming over, that's right behind the door. Next is my closet, which has like clothes, hanging, sweaters, whatever. Then I have electronics, extra things that are not priority on my top shelf. And then other clothes in the bottom. As we move on to my bed, it's nothing very special, except I do have storage under the bed and my bed is raised up by these special bed raisers and I have mattresses stack on top of each other and then I have two windows which is very nice so next we move on to this corner here's my laundry basket my backpack for school and there's some stain that's on it um, my shelf of random things to display books my water bottle I always change have different for work and my stuffed animals <laughs> I also have a TV for when I, want, when I want to watch YouTube before I go to sleep. And then I have an alarm clock with an iPod Touch 4 that I don't even use because it's not supported anymore. As we move on to my desk, there's my PC and nothing much has changed. Except, of course, a few things has. So, as you can see, chair. I have a blanket on top of it to make it more comfortable. I have a Red Dragon keyboard from Amazon, a wireless charging stand that I traded for a wireless charger with my dad, and then there's also right back there those like incense things that lots of people use. I have a lamp for when I'm doing homework, a little blue glass that I made in pottery with my grandmother for candy, and a cup holder right here that I'm also made. It's pretty convenient because I want to prevent a drink from falling in. As you can see, this corner, I have my wall of featured things. I have a fan because it's June and it's starting to warm up. A frog garbage bin. I have my, the incense thing. I also have my watch charger, which is magnetic, so I just have it sitting there, I would like to stand though. And then my Ikea drawer, full of random priority things I need to access. So now here's the part where I show what's on my phone. I have the Galaxy S10, and it's blue, so pretty nice. Here is my lock screen right here, and then if I just unlock it with my face, because I have the camera recognition, and I also have the in-display fingerprint sensor, it's not the best, but whatever. Right here I have my priority apps. I have YouTube, because I watch lots of YouTube, especially when I'm getting ready, I will watch YouTube. Netflix, I don't use too much, but I there's some good shows I like on there. Next bus is a live bus tracker, where we can see where the bus is and everything. Snapchat, I have right at the top here. Clock, so I can record stopwatches, which I normally need for random things. Device care, I want this so I can check my battery 
how many hours of screen on time I get, my files. I had to re-record this entire second half of my what's on my phone because my other app glitched. Anyways, here is the rest of my home screen, that wallpaper, thank you to a friend lending me a phone so I can take it. The next app I have is Starbucks because I go to Starbucks a lot. We have messages for texting, Android messages because I can access it on my computer as well. Instagram so I can scroll, waste time. I also have my Google Play Store so I can quickly download apps. Microsoft Edge so I can sync with the Edge beta that I'm using. I have Spotify for all my music. I am actually using Microsoft Launcher as you can see. And that's my calendar or whatever. I have the clock at the top on my second page. Music is JBL Connect and headphones so I can connect to my devices. Play music, tune in radio, next radio so I can play music, next radio, great because I have FM in this phone. Uh, voice recorder for random stuff. My financial, BMO, CIBC, airplane for points, SBC for discounts, rewards, I get money from Google, PayPal, I have social medias, I actually use Google Contacts, Gmail, I have a ton of emails, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, Hangouts for calling over Wi-Fi, WhatsApp, Google Duo, re replacement to FaceTime, TikTok for fun, my second Snapchat so I can take care of my friends' accounts, Discord, I have all the shopping apps, Amazon, Domino's, 7-Eleven, Flip is a flyer app so you can see like all your newspapers that have come out recently. We have Subway, Token Transit, Tim Hortons, McDonald's, and Kijiji for buying stuff nearby. Canon so I can connect to the camera just like I said in my other video. Gallery photos, Visco to post aesthetic pictures. Wall paper craft and hidey hole for my wallpapers. I have Find My Device, 501, and Alberta Emergency Alert. Those are good for specific situations. Dailyo is a daily log of how my life is. Home base, Samsung Health, Maps, Fortis Alberta. We have Shaw, Android Auto, Samsung Memory, so I can complain to the company. Kudo, so I can check how much data I use. Flight Radar, so I can see what's above. We have a bunch of smart home devices, so we have Google Homes and those apps. I also have a Android Wear or Wear OS. Speed Test, because I like testing speed. Chrome, Unify, Wi-Fi Analyzer. I don't play games much on my phone unless I don't have Wi-Fi or data. So I just have those to keep me entertained when I need. I have Drive for school, Moodle, PowerSchool, this calculator app so I can have TI-84 when I'm on the go. I also have OneDrive, OneNote, and Scan so I can scan without needing a printer. Next I have App Store Bouncer is pretty convenient because Bouncer is useful, helps protection, security, Android Q is going to be updating that. There is also Daywise which blocks out other notifications that I don't use. Really cool thing on this is my dark mode. It's a great thing with One UI which is very cool. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my room tour and what's on my phone. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.